Hello everyone, it's Mr. N, and now in this video we are going to circumscribe a circle around a triangle. So basically, we are going to put a circle around this triangle so that <clears throat> it works out really good. Now to circumscribe, we're looking for the circumcenter. So for the circumcenter, this is where the perpendicular, bi well, the perpendicular bisectors intersect. So all we need is two sides, and we need to construct the perpendicular bisector to each side. The simple way to do it would be to just bisect two of the sides and see where they cross. You don't need to do all three, we only need two, and the third one will be in the same spot. So, again, um, this is, if you are unsure how to bisect, there is a video on it, and what we are going to do is review that real quick, and all we have to do is find a radius larger than half. Eyeballing it, that would be a halfway. Make sure it's larger than half. So to bisect that, we have a radius that's larger than half. We are going to put a tick mark up here. And uh, keeping it there, we will put a tick mark down here. Now move it over to the other side. And let's do the same thing on this side. Ooh, just barely long enough on that first one. So just make sure you make your arcs nice and large here so that they cross. And that is our, oops, let's fix that. That is our two intersection points. And let's straight edge those. Okay, so from here down to there. We got it. Now let's just do another side. It doesn't matter which side. I'll go ahead and use side XZ. And we will put our compass on one of the points. And again, we want to be larger than half. So that's about halfway. Let's eyeball it. That's larger than half. Looks good. Let's put a tick mark right here. And then come around and do the same thing on this end. We'll put a nice tick mark right here. And then go to the point X and come around and put our tick mark there and now on the other side ooh looks like I was just just short so that's why I always tell you make those tick marks nice and large let's go back over here see if we can correct that hopefully um hopefully it will be close enough looks like it is so looks good we will extend that out right there and now let's go ahead and straight edge that as well. So this ends up being our perpendicular bisector to that side and make these nice and long so that you can see the point where they cross right there. So now at that point, I'm going to label this intersection point A. So there is my point A. And now from point A, I'm gonna place my pivot point of the compass and then I will extend this out to any one of these three vertices. It doesn't matter which one. And the reason why it doesn't matter which one is since we have circumscribed it, it should go through all three. So this, as I rotate it around, should go through all three, and you can see that that's going to happen. So let's construct that in. Let's go ahead and pick a different color so that stands out. And hopefully you will see that this is the circumscribed circle around the triangle. So this one's a little bit easier than inscribing. Again, these are the steps here. I would practice this a few times to make sure you get it down. It's not so bad. Just remember you're looking for the perpendicular bisectors where they cross. That's the key to this construction. Hopefully that helps and happy constructing.